Hello, this is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy, and today we're going to talk about structural engineering. Structural engineers ensure that buildings and bridges are built to be strong enough and stable enough to resist all appropriate structural loads. And those loads would be gravity, wind, snow, rain, earthquakes, earth pressure, temperature, and traffic to prevent or reduce loss of life or injury. You might want to go to the instructor portal and watch a short video on City Court building. What this goes through is it goes through a uh, building or a skyscraper in downtown Manhattan that was built on an angle. And a student said, oh, that looks kind of weird, and it caused the architect to double check it. And they found out that they had not figured wind loads at a certain angle on that building. And if they got this wind load, that the building would fail. And uh, basically, the architect said all the way to downtown Macy. So it was like a, it was a, a uh, emergency. So um, uh, you can see also by listening to this video how much we learned from our errors and that we're still making errors. Uh, structural engineers also design structures to be stiff enough to not deflect or vibrate beyond acceptable limits. In our video series, we have the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, which was built exactly like the, the San Francisco Bay Bridge. And it was made lighter to save money. And people that drove over it at the beginning would feel the vibration of the wind. And one day, a strong wind came through, and it basically formed a um, little weather pattern. And the uh, bridge whipped itself to death. And it's obviously, um, they did not design that structure with uh, that wind in, uh, in mind and with the lightness of it. So we definitely learned from those errors as well. Fatigue is also an important consideration for bridges and for aircraft design uh, or for other structures which experience a large number of stress cycles over their lifetime. So you can see a structural engineer is extremely important. Uh, your life depends on them. We are going to do a project called the Pavilion. <clears throat> One day we were having a family reunion in the mountains, having a wonderful time playing volleyball, and a huge storm rolled in. And we all hightailed it for the Pavilion. And it gave us relative sh uh, shelter, but we could look out and see this storm as it increased. in, uh, And it just became a, a deluge. And then the sun came out, and we had a great time. But we see pavilions and gazebos and parks where picnics, band performances, and even weddings are performed. With such valuable people under, sheltered under these pavilions, we need to make sure that we design a pavilion that will be safe. And that is the purpose of this project. We're going to go into ARCHICAD. ARCHICAD is what, uh, what we're going to use to design our pavilion. And we do have a PDF of this project called the Pavilion on our instructor portal with step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to start with this lab. And I'm going to use this, which allows me to make my own lines. So I'm going to do a 36. And that's 36 feet, because this defaults by 24. And we'll do this. And we'll do closure here. <clears throat> and we're going to put some columns on here. And the columns we're going to use will be these nice square ones. Where they're going to be nine feet tall, and they're one uh, foot uh, in dia I mean, they're in diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and just when I see a check, that basically places those on those corners exactly. There's a lot of intuitive snapping that goes on here, but that's not exactly where we want them. So we're going to zoom on in here. And using the arrow will allow us to edit anything at any time. And I'm going to take this grip and move that right in there. So that's basically where we want these is to be right there. If you pick the wrong thing, if you select again, it goes through a selection and will probably give you the right thing. And we're taking that grip and move it in. So there's a, and it, we know that it's infinitely there because that's the way this wor program works. So if I go to a generic perspective, this is the beginning of our pavilion. We've got our slab, <clears throat> we've got our little uh, pillars going up, our wood pine um, pillars going up, columns. We're going to go back to the first floor. And now we're going to put a roof on this. 
and notice I don't, when I select roof I don't get my info box for roof it's because this pillar is still uh, uh, selected and it thinks you want to do something with it so I'm going to escape out of there select a roof and now we've got it this is a hip roof but we're going to put a gable roof on this so we're going to select this for the gable roof and I just come and pick one corner up and over and select the other corner and let's go see what we've got so that has quite an overhang we weren't observant on the overhang so what we're going to do is up here on this info box change this offset to be one foot and yeah, one foot and that's what we want to do and then let's go back here to the first floor we did change that offset to one foot and then um, what we want to do now is we're going to put in some let me make sure I want to make sure that offset was changed I don't see that it was and I think the reason was we didn't select the roof you know sometimes you have to uh, now this will change there you go <laughs> you need to select what you want to change sorry about that okay now that we've got this roof in here we're gonna uh, the, the, we're gonna figure out the timber the wood in this and so let's put some wood in it so we're gonna go to document actually we're gonna go to design and design extras and go to a roof maker and a wizard everybody loves wizards oh we need to select our roofs I'm not doing very good today if I go over here to roof and do a control a it will select all the roofs I have and let's go back over here again and the roof wizard and it, this talks about the rafters and the size of the rafters which you can change all of this but we're gonna go with the defaults for now I'm gonna change this temporarily to this layer or I could make a new layer but I'm gonna change it to that and say okay and now what that did is that did some uh, roof framing for us let's take a look at that framing by going to the arrow the magnet I'm gonna right click and say I want to turn that hide that layer that's really handy when you just want to see specific things so there is the wood and we are going to in this project the purpose of it is to fi uh, figure out the weight of that wood and to see if that wood will actually um, hold up what well, these four columns will hold up that wood so if I go to a um, I think it's an object inventory now I can see that we need to go here so we can figure out how many of what we have we have one beam we have 19 collar beams we have two plate beams and we have 38 rafters I'm going to go back up here to the first floor and we are going to digress over to the project now for a second <clears throat> so here we've done all of this we've worked through this and we're actually right here and so what we're going to do here is we actually go through and figure out the distance by using the measure tool and then go to this website and what I we do is we put in the um, the material the pine we give it the uh, length and it comes up with the weight so in this project then when we f so we found out that we have 38 rafters and they weigh approximately 57 pounds each so uh, went to the start menu and under programs and accessories everybody's got a calculator so I went to use that calculator because that makes it easy for you and I did um, 18.9 by 57 and came up with a thousand pounds of rafter that's how much those rafters weigh on there and so the object of this is we're going to go through and you're going to put in one beam and you're going to find out how much a uh, 138 foot beam is which is uh, across the top these are the collar collared are the collar ties and you see them right here 
and uh, we have um, we know how many we have of those we have 18 and then the plates are these things along here along the base here so we have two of those so your job in this project is to calculate the rest of the information to f uh, figure out how much the beam weighs how much the collars are going to be and the plate and then we're going to go to, hopefully you have access to the internet, to this, uh, to another website and figure the strength of the columns. So the columns we figure will hold 5,260 pounds. And so whatever you came up with, you're going to match it with this and you're going to see if that will, if our four columns will hold up the weight of the wood. And of course we are putting on the roofing, the tile, etc. So what we're going to do as well is we're going to add redundancy no matter what <laughs> and add a couple more columns in here with uh, the information that you receive from that. So um, turning back on that roof, then we can go over to objects and add a couple of things if you'd like to finish this project and make your uh, pavilion look very attractive because to sell something you know like if we wanted to go and say uh, uh, to a park commission we want to build this pavilion here because we need this shelter here then we would have to come with a rendered print and so at the very end then we can go and render that print you can actually in the rendering in this program you can actually um, go from your uh, latitude and longitude or find your city and uh, figure out um, what that will be. So basically that is our project, our structural project for the day called the pavilion and it's going to be interesting for me to find out if, if uh, uh, what you find out if the, if the weight of the wood can be carried by those four pillars. Have fun, enjoy, and thanks for listening.